Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, uh, went out today, got a new gaming console uh, for myself. And um, this is an old one. A lot of people uh, probably had this when they were younger. Unfortunately, I never got to experience playing one of these when I was a kid. But got one now, and you know, I'm excited to game on it. But I got a PSP, PlayStation Portable. So yeah, it came with a case. Open the case up. There is the PSP in all its glory right there. So pretty cool. Um, I already charged in everything so you guys can see it come on. Uh, it comes with a uh, cloth to clean the screen. It's got the PlayStation uh, symbols on there. But yeah, check it out. PSP. And yeah. All its bash and glory. Uh, let's turn this bad boy on. Um, so yeah, you actually gotta flip it up on the side like that. So yeah, that's the PSP right there. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But yeah, that's the PSP trying to read a game. So yeah, you can go. Actually, you gotta use this. I don't know if you hear that, but there's a little clicking. But yeah, you got the settings, extras, photo, music, video, game, network, PlayStation Network. So yeah, I got this from a pawn shop as well. It actually works, obviously. Thankfully. I've already had two things that don't work and I've had to bring them back. So yeah, PSP works pretty good. Um, and you know, going to the... putting games in, in and what so not if you guys don't know how to put in a game in here let's see what do i got in here right now yeah this is what the games look like pretty sick but yeah i got the ghost recon predator tom clancy's ghost recon predator so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to uh hold it like this you're just gonna insert it like that so it needs to look like that. The, the bottom of the disc needs to be facing the inside of the console. Close it. And I believe it should just pop up. I mean, I'm pretty sure this reads disc. Yeah. There you go. So yeah, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Predator. It works and everything, um, but, you know, I'm not going to play any games on it right now, uh, but, you know, I got lucky to find this. Um, the only thing I do need to get for this still is I need to get a PSP memory card because whatever games I play right now will not save because apparently you need a memory stick for this thing, so, yeah. So I won't be gaming on it that much until I get that. It did come with a case. Um, so let me grab that real quick. So yeah, it has like a little gummy case. And then there's an actual plastic case that goes around it. But yeah, I got a couple games with it as well. If you guys want to see that. Yeah, they're selling as a bundle. Got a Star Wars Battlefront 2, uh, Ultimate Alliance, Marvel's Ultimate Alliance 2. Need for Speed Undercover. And it came with a movie. I didn't know they'd have played movies, but it came with The Incredibles. So I was like, all right, I'll take it. <laughs> and it came with a charger and a car charger. But yeah, that's about it. I got all this for about a $70 value. I don't know what you guys. Um, rate of value of a PSP. I was thinking it's probably only worth like 50 bucks. But, you know, it came with the games, came with the charger, everything, the case, all that stuff. So I thought it was a good deal. And I didn't want to pass it up because it's kind of hard to find PSPs. But anyway, um, yeah, that's, that's that. Uh, cross off the PSP on my collection of consoles. 
Still uh, looking for a PS Vita and a PlayStation 5 to uh, complete the Sony collection. I got the PS1, PS2. Oh, actually, I need to get the PS3. I don't have that either. But I got the PS4, so. Yeah. Um, hopefully, I can find a PS3 soon. I've almost had one, but fortunately, that one didn't work. It's going to be hard to find one that works. That's the problem. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And that, stay safe, be good, and, uh, you know, keep gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.